going on people welcome back to the channel a little something different here please don't take this as a rant don't don't get offended if you're a fan of one of the big six sides either this is not i repeat not an attack on you the fan this is an attack on the premier league and whoever's in control the fa of making a decision to only fine these big six teams that wanted to leave the football pyramid. The football pyramid is where literally you earn, on merit, you earn your way up to the top. League on league on league on league on league on league on league to the very top. Okay? That also gives the right for very small, low teams to face one of the big boys in the FA Cup. The FA Cup used to be one of the biggest competitions in footballing, in the world of football. And now that cup is deemed as a small thing because of the Premier League and the modern era of football. The Premier League, the TV, it's all about TV coverage, rights, TV coverage, rights, TV coverage, rights. That's all it's about. However, these big six sides that have monopolised football the way that they have, um, okay, granted, it's also, they have earned a lot of trophies over the years. Yes, okay, fair enough, they've, they've done that. But they've, they've turned into, like, franchises. They're not football clubs, they're franchise clubs. Not, again, I'm not attacking you guys that support them. I'm just attacking what's gone on. So, we know about the European Super League, that it, it collapsed because of fan outrage. I applaud all of you. Every single one of you, whether it be through social media or going to protests at the Emirates, uh, at Stamford Bridge, at Old Trafford. Um, I, I can imagine there's a few protests at Anfield as well. Uh, forget about the other two. You guys did really well. And you guys, a, a pat on the back from everyone in the footballing world that loves football. But what I've just read and what I've seen today disgusts me because the Premier League and the FA have fined these teams £22 million. No, not £22 million each. No, 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 no. Six sides combi combined £22 million. So... Three-ish million each. Fine. Uh, not even a slap on the wrist, that. That's... Uh, it's pittance. Pittance. Uh, Man United were paying Sanchez 550 grand to sit in the stands for nearly a season. A week. I'm... I'm... I've lo I'm lost for words. To be quite honest with you boys, I want your opinions in the comments. Please hit me up on social media as well. At Lee underscore Chappie on Twitter, Instagram. We're on TikTok now as well. I'm on Twitch. I think it's absolutely disgraceful. There should have been a point deduction for this following season coming. You know, so they're minus nine points or they start on minus 15 points. Whatever it is, three points for, for six for the six sides. So, three, you know, three times three times six. Six to 18 points. Whatever it is. Whatever that needed to be done should have been done. No, I don't believe that the club should have been, you know, relegated down to a division below or, the, or even lower. No, I don't think that's too harsh on the fan, on you guys that support these sides. I think that's too harsh. But, I think something needed to be done. I, 
I think what this this is my opinion. You can call me out, whatever. I think those six sides should have gone in their own little group of death in the Premier League. So they don't play the other sides. The four teams just play as normal um, for European spots. And that's it, right? The six sides should have played amongst themselves in a mini league. Three go down, three stay up. That would have been fair because they still have the right to fight. But now, now, it's a slap on the wrist. Nah, they ain't bothered. Okay, there's something else that's come through. They've also agreed, apparently, additional £25 million fine. And potential, <laughs> potential is the key word there because the FA ain't got the balls to do it. They, they said they was going to have the balls to, to potentially deduct points for Chelsea if they have any more scuffles and stuff where referees have got to get involved with, you know, big man montage of arguments and scuffles. And that never happened again. Again, I'm not attacking the fan. I applaud you for what you did, for fighting for football. But £25 million fine and potential 30-point deduction if anything was to happen again where they form or try to form a breakaway league. That That's nothing. They ain't bothered. £25 million, pounds, that it. They, they, they just ain't bothered. It's going to happen again. It will happen again. No, there's no... There's, this That was just the start to see how they could do it. And they, they picked a time where the fan wasn't even in the ground because they got no balls. They're gutless. The owners of these six sides are gutless cowards. And they're Americanized as well. They wanted to turn this thing into a franchise. End of discussion. They wanted like NFL stuff. That's what they wanted. They didn't want what football's about on merit. They just wanted money, 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 money. Forget the pyramid. It's all about money and worldwide audience. That's it. They don't care about anything else. They don't care about you, the fan, that, that, that you've supported probably the team before they've even walked in the door. But they will, They there's no question about it. They will do this again. I don't know when. Not next season, but I can see them attempting it again at some point. I just can. Even if it's five years down the line, they are going to attempt this again. This is just an absolute shambles. The, the Premier League are bottlers. The FA are bottlers. Um, and the whole thing absolutely stinks. I can't believe £22 million between six of the biggest sides in world football. It's, a, it's an absolute laughing stop. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Please at me if you want at Twitter as well. I think it's a disgrace um, and they've practically got away with it. They've got away with it. End of discussion. Um, I'll have a read of one of the articles just if you haven't seen it. The six clubs involved in, in the proposals to form a European Super League have today acknowledged once again that their, their actions were a mistake. No shit. Um, maybe, uh, maybe the fact that half uh, half the fans, maybe three quarters of the fans, went to the grounds and flares and and you know multiple gatherings it during a pandemic where there's a coronavirus and stuff. They didn't give a monkeys about the coronavirus. They wanted their football teams to stay in England. Football team, not franchise team. Football team. Um, they have wholeheartedly apologised to their fans. Bullshit. Fellow clubs, the Premier League and the FA. No, they have not at all. They've just they've just said it so they don't get kicked out of the Premier League until they can maybe find another way of getting out of the Premier League. As a gesture of goodwill, the clubs have collectively agreed to make a contribution of £22 million. A gesture of goodwill. Some of the poor clubs down the lower parts of the stratosphere, the lower, the lower part of the pyramid, weren't even allowed to train. They weren't even allowed to train. No money at all coming in from the fan at, at their grounds, stadiums, at their grounds, at their fields, wherever they are. Yet a gesture of goodwill is £22 million. Apparently that will go towards the good of the game. <laughs> should be going to the good of the game. But it should be double that each. Each. We're going to see... £400 million deal for Haaland to Chelsea. We're going to see a, 
120 million pound for Sancho. We're going to see Harry Kane being bought by Man City for 150 million pound. We're going to see all these ridiculous amounts of money for one player. But yet, yeah, apparently, they break away from from the pyramid of football that's been built for years. Years. We're talking 1800s here, not recent times. 22 million pounds, three and a half million pounds each. Nah, absolute tosh. Tosh. Anyway, apparently this will go to investment in support for fans, grassroots football and community programmes. Absolute sh joke. Furthermore, the clubs have agreed to support rule changes so that any similar actions in the future would lead to 30 point deduction. They don't care. They won't care because they'll be gone. 30 point deduction. They won't care. Now they know what's coming up. Like £25 million fee. Fine. They ain't bothered. That's nothing. They, they'll just go. It's like a £25 million to pay a ticket to, to leave the Premier League is what they've just been given. That's exactly what they've been given. Each of the six clubs in that event would also subject to an additional £25 million. The Premier League and the FA have worked closely together throughout this process and this agreement brings both investigations into the matter to a conclusion. The Premier League imposed fines are comparable to those imposed by UEFA, which announced a package of reintegration measures for the nine clubs who agreed to pull out of the ESL during a torrid 48-hour period at the end of April, including AC Milan, Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid. The Big Six agreed to pay a collective £15 million to be invested into children's youth and grassroots football, with 5% of the revenues from UEFA club comp competitions being withheld for one season. So it's disgusting. They also agreed to far larger future fines at totaling £150 million if they breach commitments in UEFA's club commitments de declaration or sign up to any similar breakaway format. See, that's better. That's bigger money. But depending on who's in charge of these bloody sides, they're still, if they've got billions and billions of pounds, that's still short change. That's still pocket change to them. Um, but there you go. That's basically it. I'm not going to read any more to do the UEFA side of it. This is just about the Premier League. £22 million, all six sides, is an absolute disgrace. I want to hear what your thoughts are and who do you support and how do you feel. If you're an Arsenal fan, let me know. If you're a Liverpool fan, if you're a Man United fan, if you're a Tottenham fan, if you're a Chelsea fan, Man City fan, just whoever you support out of those big six sides involved in the ESL, please drop a comment. Smash a like on the video first of all and hit the subscribe button if you've just found us. This isn't a rant. This is just me pissed off with the decision. I feel that is just not even, it's not even a slap on the wrist. It's an absolute con to the, the footballing fan. I'm not even part of the big six. I'm a Leicester fan. But I, I do feel like I am part of the top six because we're finishing in the top six. But... That's there's two different things in there. There's big six, top six. But like I said, I want your opinions as on this as a whole, and I want your opinion on what I thought about the group, about having six teams, those six sides, in a, <laughs> in in almost like a little round robin sort sort of mini league. Uh, 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 they're still part of the Premier League, but it's just they don't play with the other sides. So they just play amongst themselves, and three go up, three go down. No relegations of the other fourteen. I think that would have been that would have sorted it. That would have that would have really really that would have you know nailed it nailed it down. Look what you've done. You are bunch of dickheads, and this is your this is your punishment. Three of you have got a fight to stay in the Premier League this season. Good luck, lads. That's what it should have been. Should have been something as good as that. You only need to look on Twitter. That some of the tweets, Gary Neville, for example, um, absolute disgrace. He says, uh, I'll read this. I'll read it out to you. Um, Gary Neville said, uh, Gary Neville, Gary Neville, here we go. Gary Neville said, an absolute embarrassment to the Premier League's big six who joined the failed European Super League have agreed a combined £22 million. Absolute joke. Joke. And that's Gary Neville, who's a fan of Man United. Fan, player, ex, legend, whatever you want to call him. Please let me know in the comments what you thought.
Right, thank you for watching today's video. Please hit the subscribe button, smash the like on the video, and watch some of the other previous stuff. Yes, the transfer window has just opened. Leicester are looking to sign Samare. Uh, that's apparently a done, done deal. Uh, Fabrizio Romano has already almost confirmed that, and you already know Fafana also tweeted something out about that deal as well. Uh, Edward is potential. Um, I'd say that's about 90% done now as well. Uh, you can check out the video that we've talked about Edward uh, before. Uh, we've got a montage video coming out soon as well on Edward, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, big editing by Winksy. Please go and find Winksy at on twitter at winksy10 uh, and uh, you can follow me on social medias at lee underscore chappy until then guys the euros is coming up we've got watch alongs throughout the throughout the tournament uh, we're going to be doing england stuff and hopefully doing a couple of belgium games because obviously there's a lot of foxes that play for belgium so i'm planning on doing a few belgium streams as well but please also let me know in the comments what watch alongs you like would like me to do because we can do that as well during the watch alongs i'm during the euros i'm going to do some more watch alongs uh so yeah i shall see you very soon guys um i'm very excited for the football and uh, i'm going to keep doing these daily uploads every day uh, all the way through uh, until the season starts again and then we're going to carry on all the way through the season we're going to do leicester watch alongs all the way through and uh <laughs> let's just hope we can get to champions league football this time and not not bottle it, but uh, drop out on the last day. <laughs> but uh, football's coming home, boys. It's coming home. Euros is next. I'll see you soon. Foxes near the queen.